Well, Ian, we're nearly there. The build-up has felt a long time, but we're getting close. How is the mood in the camp? How is everybody? Really good. Obviously, it's um, it's difficult for me to contain excitement. Everybody's very excited, and, and rightly so. This is um, a brilliant marker for how far this football club has recovered in, in the not-too-distant past. Um, it's We've had some challenging times, um, but this is an occasion very much to look forward to. Absolutely delighted that we've sold the tickets we have, and that's a great marker as to the connection between football club and town again. It's it's palpable, it's brilliant, uh, amazing, and yeah, super excited. On the field, you sort of kick-started this recovery, if you like, with, with the promotion in the first year, and, and I know there's so much work behind the scenes as well. Do you feel this cup final is almost the end stage of the first stage of recovery, if that makes sense? I think it's a landmark occasion. Yeah. I think it's something that we wanted to do um, for the town and for the fan base because of what it's been through. Um, that's why I said before that the semi-final was the most nervous I've been in my football life because I just wanted it so much for everybody uh, for so many reasons. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great occasion. Hopefully everyone can go there and enjoy it, um, behave themselves of course, and we'll give a good account of ourselves and, and hopefully have a better performance than the last time we went there as a football club. Yes, we'll banish that memory. You, you've had yeah. good memories there at Wembley, though. You know, you know what it's like to win there, you know what it's like to lose there, and uh, yeah. what a stage. Yeah, I mean, it's it's the best place to win and the worst place to lose. Um, it's it's a brilliant, brilliant time if, if you win a football match there. Um, memories that will last a lifetime, but also the worst as well, and, and we want to use that memory to to really focus and energise ourselves for what is a very, very important game on Sunday and, and hopefully we can get the right result. Been as a player, first time as a manager, what would it mean to you as a manager to walk out and mm -hmm. look to your left, is it? I think see, we'd see a white end anyway and see, as you say, the number of the fans that will be there. Yeah, I mean, again, it's on the bucket list as a manager. You set yourself goals and targets and this was certainly one of mine. Uh, it's brilliant to achieve it relatively quickly in my managerial career, especially here. Uh, and yeah, we'll we'll take it in. We'll enjoy it. What a great occasion for for League One football, for the EFL, and, and for both clubs to have seventy plus thousand there. It's just a real representation of what this league is now, uh, and the massive clubs that are involved in it. So I said, hopefully the game will do it justice. And what shape do you feel the team is in? It seems a long time, a little bit since Sheffield Wednesday, but a good performance there. Yeah, I mean, I've really felt the team re-energised the last couple of weeks. I've really felt there has been a significant uplift in, in energy, um, in quality. And I felt the players come back to themselves a little bit, which is, is really exciting for the running. Um, it was a fantastic performance against Sheffield Wednesday. Probably deserved more on a day. And last week in the behind closed doors game that we had, uh, it was also an excellent performance. In fact, probably an upgrade again of what we saw on Sheffield Wednesday. So really good, really exciting and, and looking forward to Sunday very much. Certain players can't play, of course, Cup tie, but tough to pick a team. Yeah, as I said, it's, it's one of the downsides of being a manager that you, you have to disappoint people from number one not being in the starting 11. But then there's going to be disappointed people that aren't going to make the match day squad, which is tough, but it is football and it's my job and what I'm paid to do. So providing it's done in the correct way, I'm sure people will respect it and we can move on together. Yeah. Injury-wise, just Yon Daddy, Jack and possibly Izzy, would they be the only three sort of missing that you can't... Yeah, just those three yeah. at the moment. Yeah. It's still very early in the week, so I've got everything crossed. Um, mm. But yeah, just those three that will miss out. The rest are available uh, for selection. Obviously, the internationals, the Northern Irish internationals have returned today. Mm. They're fit and well. Just waiting now on, on James and, and Luke to return from England duty. But everybody's going, I believe, the whole squad. It's, it's, even those that can't play, everybody's in it together. That's yeah, key, isn't it? Pretty much the entire football department is being transported down to London which is, is great but we're in this together this is a, as I said a great marker for us all to to understand how hard we've worked to achieve this um, and to go down and enjoy it and, and hopefully win a football match we must mustn't forget that that for all the build-up and for all the, the huge spectacle it is it's a football game and we must go there to win yeah we'll finish on that note as you say it's a great spectacle a great day out for everybody but you want to win and what would it mean to come north with with that bit of silverware in the back of the bus yeah, exactly. And, and at the start of the season, if you'd have given us the opportunity to be playing in the cup final at Wembley and be in the top six with eight games to go, we'd have snatched it with both hands. We have that opportunity now, but all it is at this moment is an opportunity. We have to go out there and take it.